Today I'm going to take you through how to turbo your LS engine. Onto the hot side itself. I built these manifolds from Schedule 40 pipe with half inch flanges, which I bought online. After I finished welding them, I ceramic coated them for a nice look and long lasting finish. The crossover is two and a quarter inch stainless steel. I've got dual 44 millimeter waste gates. Now the two reasons I use dual wastegates was one, because if a single wastegate fails, I still have a secondary wastegate to help me in case my engine is about to overboost. The second is to prevent boost creep because I flow a lot of air into a really small T4 housing and a single wastegate I was worried wouldn't quite keep up. The reality is one wastegate probably would have worked just fine. You'll see my downpipe here wise out and on the Y now I've got a cap. At the time I made this video, I had a cutout. So I can pull the cap off and I can run my car wide open and the turbo will spool faster or I can put the cap back on and it'll quiet the car right down. On to the cold side. For the cold side, I use silicone couplers with three inch piping through the intercooler and T-bolt flanges. I just bought the biggest intercooler I could possibly fit. On the cold side, I've got this little port here, which feeds my wastegates, which I was talking about earlier to help regulate boost. The reason I feed my wastegates from the turbocharger outlet is because it's the closest source to the boost pressure. So it can, it can open up the wastegates a little bit earlier than if I was to use the manifold pressure to do this. Onto the oiling system. The turbocharger needs both a feed line and a drain line. For the feed line, I tap the oil cooler block off plate with a 1 8 MPT fitting here, which converts to dash 4 AN. The reason I use this location over the oil pressure sensor location is because this location is specifically meant for high volume oil flow, it's not just a pressure port in the block. For the drain line, I used a dash 12 line. It's gravity fed to the pan, and even though it looks snaky, it works fine. On to the fuel system. A turbocharger requires a lot of extra fuel, and in my case, I've got DECA 80 pound injectors. My feed line is dash eight, and my return line is dash six. I control everything here with an aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. That little switch there is a nitrous fuel pressure switch, and what happens is it grounds to the block if the fuel pressure goes low. When it does this, it triggers my two-step, so if my car ever loses fuel pressure, it will save the engine before it goes lean. So I hope that gives you all a good overview of what you're looking at when you're turboing your LS engine. Thanks for watching my video, and as always, feel free to comment below, ask me if you have any questions.